very often when I'm out on the trail, I have my notebook and I have my photographs and some of my maps which I carry with me and I have my little crowd around me of maybe 15 or 20 adults. People will be walking past us or biking past us or walking their dog and you know you can see they slow down and they kind of listen a little like as they're and so it's, it's like being at recently I was at the uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art with my wife and we were just going through a a section of the museum, and and there was a docent there with uh, with a with a class, and uh, we both kind of stopped, slowed down, stopped to listen to what she was saying, and uh, maybe this was a paid a paid you had to pay to get into. I'm not sure, but she looked at us and said in a very professional way, "You're not really a part of this group, so you know you have to kind of keep walking." And so I get that sometimes when I'm on the trail. And, but what I say to people if, who are slowing down or who, who like, well, you know, I'm on this trail and I'm walking here and I do this quite often, but I don't know anything about it. And maybe you do. And maybe this group is learning something about it. I always say, um, hi, we're, we're doing a, a class on the Croton Aqueduct. We're a group here. We're learning about the Croton. If you'd like to join us, we'd, you know, we'd love to have you. And that would be neat. And sometimes people do. And other times they look at me like, oh, my God, no, I don't want to do that. And, and off they go. So, uh, yeah, education of the public. And the more we educate, uh, whether it's in the schools, you know, I think every single child in Westchester County, in, in all of our schools, it could be in Rye, over on Long Island Sound. It doesn't have to be along the pathway. I think every child should be exposed to the Croton uh, Aqueduct, even if it's just a, you know, a week's background in class and then put them on a bus and take them over and do a piece. You don't have to do the whole thing. Just take them for two or three miles. And there's parks along the side and you can actually sit down on the trailway and have a picnic lunch. I mean, it's, it's a very easy thing to bring your backpacks and, and the kids. So, you know, I think every kid should be uh, exposed to that kind of an experience and it can be done. Uh, it's not being done and I think teachers need to be educated and I think teachers will, would, would help more. And I think if they, if they knew that other teachers have done this and it is being done in some community and there are organizations like the Friends of the Old Croton Aqueduct, I think more and more teachers would, uh, would do that. I mean, I just, I just got a, uh, an email yesterday from a former student here in Croton who said, Carl, my daughter is in the sixth grade. They would like you to come and do a one hour program on the Croton Aqueduct for the fifth grade, uh, sixth graders. So, okay, well, who was, did the parent approach the teacher? Maybe the parent did because she had had that experience when she was 13, 12, 13 years old. I'm not sure how my guess is the parent spoke to the teacher and the teacher then said, oh, maybe you could get in touch with him. So again, those are the kinds of steps that need, uh, you know, need to be taken. And I've spoken to people here in, in the Croton community. We, we, you know, we've talked about the idea, that's as far as it's got, of going into all of the schools and speaking with the teachers. In other words, going to a, going to a monthly teachers meeting at the elementary school and talking to 80 teachers and saying, look, Blah, 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 blah. We're available, we're around, we'd love to help, and if you're interested, here's our email address, here's, the home, here's our home phone, etc. So, uh, but there has to be some organization and there has to be some... Now, the Friends uh, the Croton Aqueduct have a couple of days a year where they have cleanups and things like that and have people posted along the aqueduct to talk about its history, etc. But there certainly needs to be more. Because, as I said before, if you live in a... I mean, all of us live in a place. Why not, if you're going to live in that place, why not know about its history? It will enrich you, it'll make you happier, it'll make you more interested in what, where, where you're living.